Have you ever been with someone and, and you're trying to help them and you're talking to them and you're sharing with them and you're not being mean, you're not yelling or anything, but you, there comes a point where you're just wasting your breath. It's just a complete waste of time. Now, this might be a family member. This might be a coworker. This might be someone very, very close to you. And, and the more you talk, the more it goes in one ear and right out the other. There are times in our lives where we have to brush off our feet, brush the dust from our feet, and leave them in God's hands. That somebody else will come along and encourage them and give them the, the knowledge that they need. There becomes a time in our life where we're enabling, not helping people. You give and you give and you give and you give and they don't even see it anymore. They just take and they take and they take and they take. Yeah. What the Bible says is sometimes you've got to shake the dust off your feet and you've got to move on in love, in care, in kindness. Amen. There comes a time when we just got to shake the dust off. You're wasting your breath. There's too much to do. I know, and I deal with this a lot, and you can talk about it, but I'm kind of a yes man. Can you do this? Can you help me with this? <clears throat> can you... Can, can, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yeah, I can do it. Two Kim says, Joel, you can't. You have to draw a boundary. You have to learn to say no. You have things that we need to do. You can't fix everyone. You can't stop everything. My yes days are over in certain ways. Am I still the yes man? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm getting a little better at saying, I can keep that in prayer, but I can't actually do it. And I know God will bring the right person to do it. And you'll get through it. Sometimes we have to have those boundaries. The days of yes to everything must end. Why? Because God has stuff for us to do. Sometimes we just got to shake the dust from our feet. Verses 12 and 13 reads, So they went out and preached that people should repent. And they cast out many demons and anointed, them with, anointed with oil many who were sick, and they healed him. Healed them. We have to use our voice. We have to use our voice. I used to be a very quiet guy. Sometimes some of you might think that's a little difficult to understand right now. But I I, I didn't need a lot of people in my life. I had my family and a couple of friends, mm -hmm. and that's that's all I needed. I didn't have to talk to many people. My wife knows that, you know, yeah, yeah. you know that, that I, I don't express myself all that greatly. But I realize that I have limited time. And I want to accomplish all that God has for me in this time. So that means I have to use my voice. That means I have to get bolder in what I do. That means I've got to take scary steps in my life, go into areas I never thought possible, fail, be victorious, all the stuff that goes along with it. We're not going to rise above everything. A lot of times we've got to fall down in order for us to learn for the next go-around. Yeah. I have to learn to use my voice. The Bible here is saying, so they went out and preached that people should repent. I need to shout my voice to whatever opportunity that I have before me. Whether it's with my family, hugging and loving on my brothers and sisters, hugging and loving on my wife, or standing here before you, be it television or wherever God takes this church. I need to shout our, we need to shout our voices unto God wherever you work whoever you're coming in contact with, the people that we meet driving down the street, instead of cutting them off, allowing them to go in front of us. <laughs> I need to work on that a little bit. <laughs> Don't speed up, Joel. Just let them over. Just let them over. <laughs> we, we all have things we got to work. Our time is limited. 
me and my mom were talking about this, I think, last week after church, about how we don't walk in the authority that Christ has given us. Right. Amen. Here's Jesus. He wants us to go out and preach. He wants us to go out and cast out demons. He wants us to go out and know those who are sick. We, he has given us gifts. I, I preached on our spiritual gifts. He wants us to go out and to do these things. And we look at our lives and in a sense sometimes we say, woe is me. I don't have that gift. But have we explored it? Have we tried? We're not all gifted exactly the same. But God, every single person in this room has something special within you. Something special, a way to touch someone in their life. Now, I wish I could pray and heal everybody in this room. Yes. And heal myself. Get everybody's health right on up there. But I know that God can do it. I can have that faith. What He wants us to do is, is to shake off the fear that develops us. To shake off the self-condemnation that we sometimes wallow in. 